Hi there, it's Amanda, and I am <clears throat> going to start this recipe by chopping some garlic. And I'm making Allie Slagle's Not Just Another Chicken Caesar. And I'm gonna show you why she calls it that. The dressing does double duty, and it has a little bit of soy sauce in it, and some Dijon and cheese, and it sounds like just kind of like lovely and simple. You're gonna to wanna to make a paste out of the garlic and the anchovies, so it's good to it's good to pound the garlic. And then I've got a little jar of anchovies <laughs> that I can't open. Oh, there we go. These jars just we get, we don't get along. I don't I don't really understand how you're supposed to get nice fillets out of that. Two, three four and a little extra for good luck. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just doing, I'm gonna do a little bit of prep and then we head over to the stove and then basically the recipe is done. It's that easy. This is my medium bowl. It's a little on the small side, but it's fine. So the next step is you wanna zest half of a lemon. Put that in there. And then you're supposed to grate three quarters of a cup of Parm. <laughs> and I'm gonna do that, but I'm actually gonna split it into two because you put a half cup into the dressing and then you save a quarter cup for later. I'm adding half of the cup, half of a cup to the bowl that has the mashed anchovy and garlic and lemon zest. I have measured out a cup of mayonnaise, which must be said is a healthy amount. Did I get that right? Uh, yeah, I did. And then we're gonna do a half or a teaspoon of low sodium soy sauce. Oops, okay. You know how Dijon gets that kind of like weird juice in the, in the jar sometimes? I like to mix it up before. Okay, so that's one. And another, okay. So I've got cheese, the anchovy, the soy sauce, the Dijon, the mayo. This is gonna be like a very, a very hearty chicken. Caesar salad. Okay, so we're gonna transfer half of this dressing. Now this is not something I'm gonna measure. I'm just gonna wing this. I'll just make sure now <laughs> that not, these don't mix again because that's for the salad and this is for the raw chicken. So you're using, how much here? A pound of boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And you basically wanna make sure that you are getting each piece nicely coated. So in a minute, we are gonna go and cook these. And we're also going to toast some nice thick country bread in some olive oil on the stove to make croutons. So I'm gonna put this over by the stove. Okay, so I've got little gem <clears throat> and radicchio. Some people will break up their Caesar salad into um, smaller pieces. I kind of like using the smaller leaves and then, and, and, and only breaking up the larger leaves, something like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix it with radicchio. This is so pretty, isn't it? Now what we're gonna do next is season it with some lemon juice, season with salt. Now I'm a big tossing salad by hand person, so I kinda like doing most things by hand, you may have noticed. I'm not gonna add the remaining dressing, I'm just going to add some of it because you never wanna add too much, so I'm gonna add about that much and the cheese. So you may be thinking, well, why are you tossing this all now before you have even cooked the chicken? Well, the cook, chicken's gonna cook really quickly and I like the juxtaposition of kind of cool lettuces that have softened just a little bit from the dressing and with, the, with something like warm chicken and warm croutons, okay? <laughs> it's my very graceful way of doing this without mussing up the platter with my dirty hands. All right, so there we go. We've got our greens ready to go. We're just gonna let them sit there and luxuriate while we cook the chicken. On to the stove portion. I'm going to heat up this cast enameled cast iron for the croutons. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of oil over here. I'm gonna add the toast. And now I'm gonna start adding the chicken. Real snug. Okay, there we go, that looks good. So what she does with the croutons, which I think is cool, is she toasts them 
as whole slices. So you get a crispness on two of the sides and then when you, then you cut it into croutons, you still have soft sides. So you get this mix of texture. This is the chicken a little further along. I had a little bit of a situation and I was busy trying to video close-ups and then forgot about the bread and uh, that happened. So we might have to do the bread over, but I'm not gonna torture you through that. I'll just do it on the side. Okay, this is ready to come out, I believe. So let's, and by the way, um, Allie says you can do this on the grill, of course, which would be a really nice thing to do in the warmer weather. That's properly toasted. And that's not. <laughs> we let that rest for a sec and then we're gonna slice it up over here. Oh, oh God, please don't do this again. Okay, I almost burned it twice. Hello. Teens have arrived back from school. Okay, we are down to the final step, <clears throat> which is to just thinly slice it, right? Yeah, thinly slice the chicken. All right, the chicken is all sliced, and now I'm going to sprinkle it over the salad. So Allie has you sprinkle the croutons with a little salt. I'm gonna slice it into thirds and then sideways. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna taste it right from the platter because I'm at home and you're allowed to do things like that when you're at home. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of everything. I'm really glad I let the, the lettuces soften a bit because they also got really infused with the garlic and the chicken is so flavorful because of the way you uh, cook it in its, in its dressing. And I do think you can, you can totally skip the croutons, but I think they add something a little extra. While you don't want them char as charred as this, having a little bit of toast on the edge gives that gives a nice um, kind of smoky um, flavor to the dish. So this is Allie Slagles, not just another chicken Caesar. And uh, it's from her book, A um, I Dream of Dinner. So hope to ch you'll check this out and her book, and I will see you around.